And a, f a fundamental unit in item response theory is the response probability. That is the probability that y equals 1, given your level of the trait, conditional on your value of the trait, where it goes from 0 to 1. And then as the trait changes, you get the item characteristic curves, which denotes what that probability is conditional on theta. But what does that probability mean and represent? It's a very important concept to think about and conceptualize what is that probability. Now, one way of thinking about it is at the individual level. At the, if I have, say, this theta naught level of ability, then my probability of responding or correctly endorsing an item is that probability. That is, if I have some likelihood of giving a certain response. Now that, that likelihood could be just random chance. It could be that upon repeated assessment or repeatedly answering a question, I will give a response x number of times out of the total, giving me a proportion or probability. Is it the number of times endorsed over total number of assessments? Is that what the probability of a response is? Well, that is one conceptualizing, one way of conceptualizing this probability, but I don't necessarily think this is the most useful and most uh, statistically defensible way of doing it because we cannot physically actually give people an items repeatedly to obtain what that probability is. This is something known as the stochastic stochastic subject formulation that under repeated assessment we will obtain the probability as a proportion of number of times endorsed over the number of times. But however, I think there's a better way. And that, prob that way is thinking about it as in terms of expectation. So what is my expected value of y given theta? And that again, it's the exact same plot for a given level of theta, it goes from zero to one if the response is a zero or one. But now we have the exact same plot and distribution, but we can think about it very differently. We can say for a level of theta, for someone's level, or for a magnitude of the trait, again, theta naught, what are the what is the proportion of people with that level of trait who will respond? So it's the number of people at theta naught over total people at theta. So it's the number of people. Oh, that's that's not, not what I meant. At theta. And so we can think about it as the proportion of individuals at a given level of a trait. So now we're thinking about it ex in terms of expectation or at the population level. And I think this is a much more defensible way of thinking about um, these types of uh, item response probabilities is to, and this would be, this is called the, um, you know, actually I don't even know if this has a specific name. It's just thinking about it in terms of the population as opposed to the stochastic subject, which is the individual level. And so thinking about it in terms of expectation allows us to move away from individuals and into the group or population level. And being able to kind of go between thinking about expectations versus probabilities allows us to expand our way of thinking 
the item response theory to move away from just probabilities to thinking much more generically to think about well why would do individuals with the same level of a trait respond differently well maybe they have different uh, propensities to give a response and this allows us to really think about characteristics of people that help us differentiate among them given that they have a certain level of a trait to make us and evaluate individual differences even within the trait level. And so I think that's a really powerful way of thinking about item response theory is to move away from the individual, what is their probability of responding to thinking at population level? What is the proportion of people who give a certain response? It's a very more generic and much more powerful way of thinking about it that I think is much more statistically defensible and look forward to any questions you might have. I just thought this was a great uh, topic to start to think about as we expand on these types of IRT models for future developments.